simple exercises we'll learn today, including a chord substitution later in the video that will blow your mind. Later in this video there will also be a free backing track for each exercise in all 12 keys. Okay, now back to the first exercise. We use the blues notes of the sharp 4 of F, which is B, to lead into two chords, the 5th and the flat 7th of F, and the 4th and the 6th of F. After that just descend down an F minor pentatonic. Here's how I'd go about practicing this around the circle of 5th. Remember to stick around till the end of the video for all 12 keys. Okay, now back to the transcription. Okay, here's the second clip we'll look at. Let's hear it again. Still in F mixolydian, we start on the flat three of F. This resolves up to A, the major third of F, before descending down an F major arpeggio. Then we have an enclosure around A. You could practice this very strictly like so. However, as an exercise in all 12 keys, this shortened version sounds much more musical to me. Back to the transcription again. third exercise. I'll play it again and I want you to think about what chord progression this might be. Hopefully you guessed this is a 2-5-1 in B flat major. We start descending chromatically from the fifth to the flat three of C, then ascend using an E flat major seven arpeggio. Then go down a B flat major scale stepwise until you reach the fifth, before jumping up to the third D. Here's how I'd go about practicing this. Okay, back to the transcription again. So the fourth and final exercise we're gonna make is based on this incredible chord substitution. So in simple terms, we go A minor seven, a flat over G flat seven, then G minor seven. So that middle chord is acting like a passing chord, like a D seven to get from A minor to G minor. The great news is this is really easy to build. Find the major third of whatever dominant seven you want to substitute. Play the root and the flat seventh in the left hand. And in your right hand, play the major triad a whole step above the root, but in second inversion. And that's it. Here's a cool way you could practice this substitution. Okay, now back to the transcription one last time. As promised, 
promised here is a free backing track for all of these exercises in all 12 keys. If you're interested in having these written down, I'll put a link down below where you can get them. A strong suggestion for this is please practice it half speed first so you can work up to this tempo. Try to use the patterns we discussed rather than just looking at the notes on the screen. And most importantly, save this video so you can come back to it anytime to practice. Okay, well, that's it from me. Happy practicing.